guys welcome back to yet another features video on the redmi note 9 i have been doing these videos for the past like few days you can browse through my channel and view a lot of interesting videos related to redmi note 9 and a lot of mobile tips and tricks as well so if you are new to my channel don't forget to click on that subscribe button and uh, do hit that like button if you like these kind of videos so this is the MIUI 12 version i just got the update on the redmi note 9 and as you can see you have the control center over here if you just swipe down from here you'll see the notification bar now with the quick replies they have changed the floating windows like you can just go to recent screen and here you will find floating windows if you just tap on that it will ask to open the floating window for the apps so whichever app you want to open it has a floating window or you can just go ahead and edit it here like what are the applications you would like to add to the floating windows once that let's say i want to open facebook using floating window so i just tap on f this plus mark here me video file manager and then say done now you'll find those applications added right over here now what this does is let's tap on file manager and i'll show you this is the floating window screen that you will find now this is new with the MIUI 12 earlier it wasn't there so earlier it was just like quick replies like replying to the messages from the notification bar itself but now they have bought this new floating window just if you want to close this or bring it to full screen you can just go ahead and do like if you pull up it closes the application if you pull down it opens as a full screen so that's the new thing right over there added with the MIUI 12 version and of course there are some animations as well i'll be making separate video on MIUI 12 what has changed so make sure to watch that video in this video let's look at some of the features right let's go to settings and notification here you'll find some nice features as well as you can see there are three things that you can actually customize like lock screen notifications how you want the notifications to appear when you just lock the mobile and go to lock screen this is where you'll see notification and how you want that to appear you can just go ahead and change everything here let's say you don't want lock screen notification of some apps which you think breaches your privacy then you can just go ahead and turn that off from now on the notification from the messages won't appear on the lock screen so that's how you can actually customize and if there are some applications that you want the notification to be on the lock screen like switch on that particular application similarly you have the show notification content like what you want to be shown if you want the detail of the messages to be shown on the lock screen you can just enable that otherwise don't show lock screen notification you can just completely turn it off as well so this is again on the lock screen notification on the floating notification if i swipe down like this you'll see this notifications right so this one like if you don't want some apps to show up on the notification you can just go Go ahead and turn that off there you go you can also quickly search for the app that you want to turn notifications off you just search and then toggle the switch to off again that's a customizable as well again notification badges like if you don't want numbers to be shown on the notification on the app icon you can just go ahead and turn that off again there is notification shared here like how you want that to appear this is stock android system and this is miui style like cards bunch of cards with less information with detailed information again small and large size you can just change that there is also notch and status bar over here where you can again change a lot of things like if you want to hide the notch you can just go ahead here and you can hide the notch without moving the status bar hide and move status bar up as you can see the status bar is right over here now if you just tap on this one it will be in black which is hidden over here so these are three things which you can customize and which is always nice that's why we buy android phones right notch in individual applications you can change individually to app let's say you're watching youtube and you don't want this notch to be here you can just go ahead and turn that off for that youtube thing right you can also do that use new control center if you don't want to use the control center you can just tap off here again if i swipe down this is the older version like typical thing you see on any other phone that will appear here if you want to change that use new control center just tap on this one and you will have this swipe down if i swipe from right you will see the control center now one interesting thing is they have written control center here and they have written control center here show me if you are watching this video make sure to change the font make sure to change the spelling of the control center right so edit carrier name you can do that there is battery indicator right from here how you want the icon to appear now this thing is also new this animation thing on the MIUI 12 so this is again a little trick that you can apply 
just on the notification thing. Let's move on to another interesting thing which is in the voice recorder app. So where do you find the voice recorder? Inside tool recorder. We'll tap on this one. Again there are so many things that you can customize here. Like if you go here you'll find all the files and if I just tap on settings here you can see use receiver to play audio. You can use like external speaker to play back the audio. You can lock screen notification show status bar shortcut while recording. Uh, let's say you are recording and you want to quickly stop you can just go ahead to notification thing and then turn that off so that's again shortcut if you want to enable you can enable otherwise switch off there is similar home screen indicator like there will be a blue indicator for the home screen while recording is working so you will know someone is recording voice from your mobile phone when that blue indicator pops up that's again a nice thing there is recording format this is what i wanted to show you again this pop-up screen is new with the miui 12 with the earlier version this was not there again aac mp3 wave format i would suggest you just record in mp3 format it's much easier and convenient for other devices to play quickly and there is also recording quality standard at 100 kbps and 45 mb per hour which means it takes around 45 mb per hour if you record with this standard setting otherwise if you choose to 192 kilobits per second then it will be around 90 megabits per second now based on your preference you can just go ahead and change whatever you like so this will be in 90 megabytes per second 45 megabytes or 32 megabytes per hour yes so this is how you change the recording quality from here delete synced recordings if uh, the recordings are already synced cloud you can just delete it from your device just to save some space so that's the neat thing that xiaomi is added here again it will show you standard quality that's what it is recording with so just tap to record so that's again a little trick you can change there is one nice thing on the notes app now you can actually create folders with the miui 12 version also there are uh, notes that you can take you can just tap and hold to create voice note allow for audio as you can see as i'm talking here so if I just release there is voice note ready to play. This is again a nice thing which is on this MIUI version. Not a lot of OS versions support these things but MIUI gives this option. The next one is with the tasks here. So you can create quickly tasks and you can also add the voice notes here and you can set the reminder. So whatever task I want to do I can just go ahead and tap done. So once done you can just go ahead and tick the mark. Let's say you want to write the grocery buying list or books list or whatever list you want to do. You can just go ahead and write in tasks which is very handy and how to create quick task right. So you don't have to go to this application what you want to do is to tap on this three dots and then go to settings use task toolbox. This will be off by default you just go ahead and turn it on manually and what happens is you will see a little tiny mark over here. So what I will do is just slide like this and boom there you have it quickly you can create multiple tasks and then save it for yourself. So this is again a nice trick on the notes app which is very very nice and convenient feature. The next one is camera now they have introduced movie mode on the MIUI 12 especially with the Redmi Note 9 series. As you can see uh, there is three stripes here if you go here you will see the movie frame there you have it for the photo as well as video you can capture with the movie frame aspect ratio I think this is like 2.31 is to 1 ratio which is used in the movies and I'll be making a separate video on this one so make sure you subscribe to my channel just a little nice thing on the camera setting there the next one is you want to change few things in the camera settings if I just go to camera here if I tap on three stripes and go to settings yep here what you want to do is to change the flickering method uh, which is at the bottom anti-banding you change this to 60 hertz always and there is also one more thing that you need to customize yep here's the camera mode and feature layout which you want to customize based on your preference let's say i use 48 megapixel all the time so i'll just move it up and then tap on tick mark similarly you have colors there you can choose or customize colors like what the color you want to appear then tap on apply again nice and new thing that you can change there is also one more thing that you want to change this volume buttons function if i just tap here make it to zoom which means when i'm using a camera when i use this volume button so it can smoothly zoom in and zoom out so this again comes in handy right so this is the trick that you want to apply 
from the camera settings okay guys i think the video is getting lengthy i'll be making more videos on this one so stay tuned click that subscribe button if you are new to my channel and if you like these kind of videos give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and don't forget to click on that subscribe button all right guys i will see you all in another one till then take care everyone bye bye